And on this day in history, Saints Row the Third was brought to the Pimpin' Penguin Army. What's up, y'all? This is Osiris, and today we're going to take a look at Saints Row the Third. It has been released to Linux on this day. Uh, in case you're watching this in the future, it is April 14th, 2016. Uh, it looks to be a virtual programming port, so uh, take that as you may. I know a lot of people out there are not fans of virtual programming, because basically that is uh, the Windows game in a wine wrapper. Uh, we'll just, without going into the technical details. Uh, this is a game that was originally developed by Volition and published by Deep Silver and was released in 2011 originally. So the game is quite a few years old. And you can probably see that from the graphics in the game. In comparison to Saints Row the Fourth, uh, this game is a lot less over the top and more GTA-ish or Grand Theft Auto-ish. Which for a lot of people that's a huge bonus. So I'm um, gl glad that we have this uh, option, so to say. Um, now it's for the performance there's no real reason to review the game there's plenty of probably hundreds and uh, hundreds of reviews on youtube for uh, the actual game saints row the two uh, the second or whatever the hell it's called uh saints row the third my bad <laughs> there's plenty of reviews on that game uh let's talk about how the port works though so i'm running a uh i7 5820k that's six core 12 threads and a GTX 780 all under water, uh, water cold, which is probably a little bit extreme and more than what most people are gonna be uh, running. But uh, if you look here and see how it, it, when I just set it to ultra, you would assume that my computer could play this at ultra, right? But no, uh, it was a bit stuttery. I didn't spend a lot of time fiddling with the uh, settings, but uh, if I turn down the, uh, a couple of the settings it seemed to stabilize, to stabilize a bit but I was still unable to maintain 60 frames per second at all times so that is that uh, I can't the game seems just like the other virtual programming uh, ports the game seems to run you're just not gonna get great performance it's gonna run just fine probably on a wide variety higher hardware performance is going to be yeah so if you're going to thinking about buying this game take that into account because uh, that could definitely be a uh, decision maker uh, but also keep in mind so I originally played this game back in the day uh, on Windows and it did retain my, um, my my saved games so that's cool so it did save the games to the cloud and they do transfer over to your Linux box. So that's a bonus. Because I've had games that I played in the past on Windows and then played them on Linux and uh, that was not the case. Otherwise, I, I'm gonna say that uh, if Saints Row, four, thir uh, bleh, Saints Row 4 was not your thing, Saints Row the Third might be your thing. Uh, if Especially if you're uh, one of those people who like the Grand Theft Auto style of uh, open world gameplay. Uh, it's still a little bit more over the top than Grand Theft Auto. Well, nah, I can't say that. Grand Theft Auto is kind of retarded too with the the, the, the Skyrim physics and all that. <laughs> um, and uh, so, I mean, if, the, if Grand Theft Auto is your thing, Saints Row the Third would probably be your game more uh, more your game than Saints Row the Fourth. If you for some reason didn't like the superhero stuff that was involved in that game and the over the top storyline with the matrix blah 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 the weird stuff uh but yeah i i would say check this out uh i would i, I would find somebody who has a uh, hardware closer to yours whatever your hardware may be like if you're running a 380 or 280 or like amd like I, I have no clue if this runs on amd or, uh, or not 
we know. But in the past, VP hasn't had a good track record with AMD graphics cards. Uh, so I would find out, find someone who has an AMD graphics card and see if it works for them. And then also, if you have a lower end NVIDIA card, like, I don't know, uh, a 960 or below. A 960 should run it. You're going to probably have to turn down the settings, but it should run it. But if you have anything below that, you might want to find somebody who has an equivalent card to yours and see if it works for them. Like I said, my uh, system is way OP for no reason. Uh, and it probably doesn't represent the typical gaming system. But all in all, the game performance aside, the game is uh, definitely fun uh, to play. If you want to uh, wreak havoc in your city, blow things up, murder people, steal cars, man, this is the game for you. You know what I'm saying? This is what you need in your life right about now. Uh, but I'm going to leave you with some gameplay. Uh, don't forget to go check out. If you want to, I would even say I prefer it if you leave comments on the website instead of YouTube. Uh, so always go check out that uh, Osiris.tech. That's the, that's the website, Osiris.tech. Uh, and leave your comments there uh, hit the like button hit the dislike button and of course subscribe you can also subscribe to the webpage but as usual this is Osiris PC Pimp and I'm out <laughs>